Hello everyone, what is going on? It's Andy Brew coming at you and uh, today I'm going to be starting a new top countdown video series right here on this channel. I'm going to be counting down my top 10 characters in video games that have had an impact on my life. This isn't necessarily like my top 10 favorite characters of all time. I mean, some, some of my favorite characters are in this video, um, but it, it's more so just... These are 10 characters uh, from video games that have just impacted my life in some way, shape, or form. Whether it's characters from my childhood, from like games I played in my childhood, which made me, you know, who I am today and kind of, you know, made me want to do what I'm doing right now. Or uh, whether it's uh, just characters that I've, I've just learned something from, you know, something that I've taken away from specific characters in video games, uh, just from experiencing, you know, who they are, uh, their journey, uh, and just everything in that regard. I'm doing this because uh, on the Twitch side of my streams, uh, I have this uh, channel redemption where you can, you know, you can redeem channel points to redeem certain things in the stream. And one of the biggest ones uh, in the stream that I have is, hey, you get to choose the next video I make. And uh, one of our mods, Umbra Moonin, uh, redeemed this like forever ago and I'm finally getting to it because now I actually have the time to do it. Uh, and yeah, that's basically why I'm doing this. This is uh, more so a, uh, a, not just one video, it's, it's gonna be a video series. This is a, a viewer's choice uh, video series that I'm doing. Uh, the very first one that I'm doing on this channel, but I'm very excited. Uh, I've got my, my 10 characters picked out. Uh, and this is basically what this video is, uh, what this video series is going to be. Um, so I appreciate the heck out of you guys. Uh, if you want to stick around, that'd be great. And if not, Hey, there's all kinds of other stuff to watch on the channel, you know, up there, over here, wherever. <laughs> and I wanted to thank you guys ahead of time, uh, for watching this series. If you choose to do so, um, seriously, thank you so much. This means the world to me. Um, that you guys are even here and you guys want to stick around and watch my content, whether it's streams or videos, reactions, stuff like this, whatever. Uh, it really does mean a lot. Um, if you enjoy it, drop a like on it. It helps me out a lot, especially with how YouTube is right now, uh, in 2022. And, uh, leave a comment on the videos for sure. Cause that also helps a ton. And, uh, yeah, I appreciate the heck out of you guys. We're just going to get into it, and I'll see you on the other side. Number 10 in uh, my top 10 characters in video games that have had a huge impact on my life. Uh, this one actually goes way back to when I was a wee lad. <laughs> um, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna start off a little bit lighter with a lot of these characters, but then once we get farther into the, uh, the series, oh, we're gonna get deep, man. Number 10 is none other than Sly Cooper. Sly Cooper, he, he's just such a cool dude. You know, like whenever I was a kid, I always like, I always wanted to be friends with the Cooper gang. Like I, he was just so cool. I just wanted to be his friend, you know? Like he's just one of the coolest protagonists in my opinion. He's cool, he's charming, he's sly. And yes, that pun was intended. And even though he's a thief, He's actually pretty honorable, which is which I, I respect the heck out of. I always thought it was so cool that, you know, um, these characters like Sly, Bentley, and Murray, uh, you know, they're they're thieves, but like, you know, they're not like bad thieves. Like they're actually like good thieves. Like yeah, they do like they steal like some you know, like some fun stuff, like jewelry or whatever, maybe on the side if they really wanted to. But but m most of the time it's, you know, they're actually, you know, they're stealing from other bad guys. Not like a Robin Hood in a sense, but, um, you know, if you know the plot of Sly Cooper, especially of the first two games. In the first game, Sly is stealing back pages 
uh, from his family book called the Thievius Raccoonus. Uh, the Fiendish Five, they're the bad guys, and they also murdered Sly's family. He's not just stealing back what was his, but he's also avenging his family and, you know, giving these, these thieves the justice they deserve. In the second game, he's stealing back the clockwork parts, which are just uh, literal parts of the main villain of the franchise, Clockwork. And in the third game, he's trying to break into his own family vault to, to you know, collect the inheritance that's inside of it. But he's, uh, throughout the game, he's recruiting other uh, people to join the Cooper gang along the way because he can't do it with just himself, Bentley, and Murray. And there is a fourth game. Uh, Bentley builds a time machine. And uh, yeah, I didn't, I'm not gonna talk about the fourth game that much because I didn't, really, I didn't really like it that much, but the, there is a fourth game out there. But the reason why I bring up uh, each of these Sly games, uh, cause you're probably wondering why, right, like Andy, why are you bringing up the games? You know, we're talking about Sly Cooper himself. The reason why Sly Cooper is my number 10 on this list and why he has had uh, such an impact on my life is because at a young age, because uh, I, I played, I play, I started playing Sly Cooper whenever I was eight. I was eight years old when I started playing Sly Cooper, uh, and at a young age, you know, I actually I had a pretty good childhood growing up, um, but playing through the Sly games, I don't know what it was, whether it was just Sly himself or just the story or the characters. Um, it was like the first time in my life. I mean, again, I was eight years old, <laughs> uh, but still, it's, I still remember it. it was the first time, you know, outside of my personal family, outside of outside of my blood, that I've actually felt like I was a part of something. You know, I actually felt like I was a part of the Cooper gang. And it's something about Sly Cooper himself and the Cooper gang that just really made me feel like that. You know, like every single heist that we pulled off, like I, I felt like I was there. I felt like I was part of the family. You know, these these three characters, uh, you know, they have been together through everything. You know, their their bond is so strong and just so, you know, it's gotten them through some of the hardest times that it really just inspired me to uh at such a young age to want to take friendships very very seriously i have a handful of friends today that i would consider uh some of my best friends you know uh you know, that we, we've been best friends for gosh for forever <laughs> maybe not since i was eight years old but the the point is i felt like i was a part of something when when playing through these games i don't know i just i just felt like i was there like every every time we would go on a heist you know i actually felt like i was part of the crew you know uh and i don't know if it was just if it's just the storytelling or just how the characters are, you know, like these characters have, they're so fun to just be around. Like all of them are just so fun. They've got great personalities. I love the journey that Sly Cooper has uh, taken me on uh, as, I, as I was younger. I really just felt like I was part of the gang. And you know, as uh, a kid who was eight years old, who didn't really have like a lot of super close friends whenever I was eight years old, but was really craving. Being closer with people outside of my family, Sly Cooper was a big influence in my life. It, it had a big impact on my life um, because the way that Sly treats his friends and even some of his adversaries, you know, that is, that's something that I take with me because I, I, I don't want to be a thief, but I, I would love, I would, I always uh, looked up to Sly Cooper. I always looked up to Sly because even though he's a thief, he's honorable and uh, his bond with his friends, you know, that's the bond that I want to have with my friends. And I also want, uh, you know, the people that I come in contact with and my friends, you know, when they're with me, I want them to feel included in things. You know, I, I don't want to be clicky or anything. Like I want people who, whether you come here to this channel or, um, you know, if we're friends in real life or you meet me in real life, I want you to actually feel like 
hey, you're part of you're part of the gang. You're part of my team. It's the inclusiveness aspect. You know, Sly really made me feel, as funny as it sounds, really actually made me feel included. Even though like they don't really talk to the player directly uh, in the games, um, but like it's just again the bond that they have. I felt like I was part of the gang. Sly 2 Band of Thieves to this day uh, is one of my favorite games of all time. Fun fact, uh, Sly 2 actually is one of the first games that I ever 100%ed. I ran through the whole story, did all the missions, I found all the clue bottles for every single episode, I opened all the vaults, I bought all the gadgets. That satisfaction of getting all this extra stuff from going out of my way and uh, getting all the clue bottles and, uh, you know, just 100% in the game, whatever. Um, it was it was very fun and rewarding, and that is what has set me on this path now to, you know, I don't 100% every single game that I play. Actually, I feel like I rarely 100% games anymore, but if I really like a game, I want to do as much as I can to complete as much as I can of it, you know? Even though it's been a while um, since I played Sly Cooper, Sly Cooper personally, just the character himself and the Cooper gang overall has had such an impact on my life growing up, um, which is why Sly is number 10 on this list. <laughs>